Okay, so the other thing you have to do is you have to be a little bit resourceful. What I have here, this is known as a banding wheel. Um, it's two pieces, so if you pick it up by the top part of it and you walk around, it makes a really loud noise. Um, and obviously we don't want that. So anytime you get one of these, you can pick it up by the top there, but put your hand underneath and carry it around by the base. Therefore, it won't drop, especially if this drops onto our concrete floor. It's going to be really loud and everybody's going to point and laugh at you. Well, we won't laugh at you too much, but somebody's going to go, hey, and you'll hear me from the cross room say, pick it up by the base. Um, so try to remember that if you can. Um, if not, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it just does make a loud distracting noise. All right. So I've got my banding wheel. This is going to help me be able to work on things as and spin them around okay as i'm working on it and that way it makes it a little bit easier you don't have to use one of these i kind of like it um, for my demonstration it's also going to raise this up a little bit higher the other thing i have is a vase okay this is an old vase that i've had laying around i'm going to turn it upside down like so and then i'm going to take some of my extra clay because this edge is sharp um, and it's a little bit rough so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take and make a rough coil that will fit all the way around that. And what this does is this helps to uh, insulate or cushion the inside of my pinch bowl. So I wanna create the foot, which is gonna go on the bottom of this. If I set it up down like this and I set it on the table, okay, my two little raised areas are gonna get squished flat. So by setting this on here and setting it there, now I can work on that and I've got a nice smooth, firm surface. You don't have to do this, okay? And what I highly recommend you do is do the foot first and then work on the top part. I didn't think about that during my demonstration part of it. And you know, you just kind of have to roll with the punches. You have to kind of figure out ways to adapt to what you've done. So let's talk about a foot. Um, we can do all kinds of things with the foot. A foot can be a number of different shapes, designs, sizes, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I probably should have done this beforehand, but that's okay. And take, and I'm gonna roll out a little flat piece. Now, one thing you can do um, is you can use a couple of guide sticks, such as, okay? These are two really small dowels, okay? Little round pieces of clay, or a piece of wood. Um, they're roughly the same size. I'm gonna set them on either side of my clay, take my rolling pin, and I'm gonna roll it over that. What happens is, is as the rolling pin comes in contact with the wood, it won't allow the rolling pin to get any deeper. In other words, it's not gonna let this become any flatter um, or any shorter, okay? Thinner, I guess is a better word to describe it. And so now I know that I've got a piece of clay, a slab, flat piece of clay, that is perfectly the same thickness all the way throughout. How thick? Yep, you guessed it, that magic thickness that's, you know, about the thickness of a pinky finger. So now what I can do, I'm gonna grab a ruler, so I can be a little bit more precise about this, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and cut some designs. I think I'm gonna go kind of with a triangular design for my foot. Um, you can come up with something on your own, whatever you like, that is totally up to you, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of start by going like that. And then whatever shape I decide, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this out. I'm gonna make these two inches here and two inches there. And therefore I can create a nice triangle shape like so. That's gonna become one of my feet and I'll probably go ahead and attach it like that. Cause I kind of saw that in there. I kind of like the way that looked. Okay, that'll work. Now, once I've got one made, okay, as long as I've got a flat edge, I line that up with it here and then I can go ahead and use it as a template to then cut out the next one. And therefore they're going to be roughly the same size, same angles, all that good stuff. Okay. Do one more here. They may not be exactly perfect. Okay. If you really want, you can measure those out and you can make it even more perfect. Um, but for this particular project, it's not that critical. Um, you know, the more perfect it is, yeah, probably the better. 
Um, but if it's not exactly perfect, not the end of the world. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and attach this here. And I'm trying to figure out what's the best way because you notice if I attach it like this, okay, it looks one way. If I put it there, it kind of changes it. So what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go with it here, all right? And then what I'm going to have to do is have this kind of curve around this. Now, I've got one, two of these here. So this is something else that I need to think about is instead of having three, which I normally do. Sorry, I got something in my eye. I'm going to have to go with a fourth one. So I need to roll out a little bit more clay. So very simply, take my two little sticks here. Start by kind of flattening it out a little bit first. Okay. And then keep in mind, whichever way you roll it, it's going to stretch more that way. So it's a little on the narrow side like this. So if I lay it down and I roll it flat that way, it's going to stretch and make it longer on that side, okay? And I'll do this a couple of times just so I make sure that I get it all the way through. Like so. Yeah, I messed up this one. I kind of ran my rolling pin into it because I didn't have enough room. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to use that one as my template. There we go. So I've got four. I usually like to make three feet um, on the base. Um, three, three feet will always level itself out like a tripod. A tripod will always level itself out, which is why it's handy for um, easels and um, connecting, you know, or for like cameras and that kind of stuff. Um, some stools will have three. Um, four is usually more accepted just because it's more uniform. It looks right, okay, in, for lack of a better term, all right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to figure out where these are going to go. So in order to get this to fit just right, that longer side, I'm going to have to kind of cut at a curve to match this. So just going to kind of do a little bit, and then so that all of these are consistent, okay, I'm going to set these on top of each other and kind of cut the same thing out for each one, okay? And so that way I know I'm consistent and they'll all be roughly the same. Now again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to bend and twist and contort and turn and all that kind of stuff as well, okay? So now that I've got these. I've got my curved side, which can now fit on here a little bit better so that it lines up nice and even. Now you'll notice that I've got a little bit of a raise there, okay? I'm going to do the same thing directly opposite on that side, and then we'll do one same thing here, and the same thing here, okay? Again, this is not the correct answer. This is not how everything should look. You do not have to do this. This is just the way I decided to do it. I'm making this up as I go. So keep that in mind as you're doing it, all right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and score and slip, all right? I'm not gonna show you that. I'll do a little time lapse of me putting these four pieces on, um, but the last one, what I'll do is I'll talk to you about how we put these together, especially a flat surface um, going on to a rounded surface and two perpendicular angles um, connecting to each other because you're going to see tool marks and how do we cover up those tool marks and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be seen in the next video, but the time lapse will show me just attaching these roughly um, and then the finishing will be in the, in the final video there.